Get that ass thing. As I started playing Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, the attendance dipped by half. So I went from over 400 people on my podcast down to like 200. We barely retained 200 viewers for Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. The funny part is the game is outstanding, but what's happened is the viewership has completely tanked because it's another fucking RPG, which is exactly what I said would happen. I knew at this point in the year, this is exactly what would happen after two straight months of just RPGs being the new releases that were good. No one's going to stick around for them, right? So... It's sad because the game is great, and today we did a whole bunch of open world content in the Junon region, then we went into Junon, did a bunch of questing, fought a big boss, were introduced to Yuffie in the game for the first time. Then, we went across the map to the other side of the open world map where there's another town called Crow's Nest, and we were doing content there. It was fun. I won a whole bunch of the Queen's Blood uh, card games, won a bunch of cards there that we're going to use later on, um, a bunch of side quests, a bunch of new items and crafting. Like, it was a solid fun progression RPG stream. But sadly, I don't think people just are showing up for RPGs anymore. They're tired of them, right? Which I don't blame you because there's been too much of them. Um, the good news is, people did support the stream before we started with Final Fantasy. Like, the stream actually was very well supported before so it didn't matter that all the people left during Final Fantasy. It's just it's worrying because we're only just about around 20 hours into Final Fantasy now and this is going to be a minimum 60 hour game and no one's showing up for the streams anymore so what do I do? Do I just keep playing and ignore it and hope that a few people show up and support the stream early? I don't know. I honestly don't know. And the the hilarious excuse of, oh, well, other people are playing the game and getting views. Yeah, because they're not me. Because other people are not me. They don't have a million people hating on them, crabbing on them on the internet, saying they're a horrible person, don't watch their content. You know, you got to use a fucking brain cell to understand that my situation is not the same as others, right? My audience, sadly, is not a big RPG audience, and I'm playing three RPGs right now. Anyway, so... That was that. Tonight on Tekken 8, I'm going to be honest, kind of the breaking point for me right now, this was the first night I'm firmly into the purple ranks. And I'm like, oh, I've been doing really good. I've been having fun with this game. Let's play purple ranks tonight for the first time. This by far was the worst stream of Tekken 8 I've ever done. All right? It was almost three hours of gameplay because I stayed extra late. Literally, 98% of the people that I fought were horrible fighting game players. All they do at Purple is they found one or two moves that are incredibly abusable or one or two hit strings that are incredibly abusable, and they just spam them over and over. And sadly, without character knowledge of each character, like, okay, at what point can I maybe interrupt this combo? At what point can I stop this spammed move that they keep doing over and over and just getting away with it online? Unless you have that knowledge, they just win over and over. That's how they got the Purple. These people are so bad, they don't block low. They don't even know how. You can literally just do low combo after low combo and hit them. But then if they mash a button and get lucky, oh, they're back to their mashing hit streak that you can't stop. I mean, it happened with Huarang. It happened with Azucena. It happened with Lily. It happened with Jin. It happened with Devil Jin. I mean, I can keep going. Like It happened with like 20 characters tonight. Oh, Victor. Don't even get me started on Victor. The fucking teleport spam with this slash down. I have no clue how to stop it, how to block it, what to do. It hits everything. It interrupts everything and does a third of your health bar when it hits. Then, if that doesn't work, he just spams this quick move that's like a counter hit move that just goes, boop, one hit, leads to a giant juggle. It just does it over and over. That's all the players do. They, they're terrible. These are not fighting game players. These are people who wish that they knew how to play fighting games, so they just find this one abusable shit online. Now, a pro player who probably plays the shit out of Tekken, who studies, who plays this game four or five, six times a week, five-hour sessions who goes online and plays tournaments and shit, probably this is not an issue. In fact, I can tell you, as I've watched, you know, videos of high-level play in Tekken 8 online, not once have I ever seen a single person play like the people who I played tonight. Never once. Those people are just assholes who don't know how to play, and they just get away with spam for people like me, who don't have time to learn the game at a high, high level. So I went from basically climbing these ranks, learning, getting better slowly but surely, a little bit, a little bit of climbing, a little bit of learning, a little bit of climbing, a little bit of learning, climbing up the ranks. Now that I've hit purple, it's like a brick wall smashed me in my face, and it's like, so how do you beat that brick wall? How do you knock it down? 
Well, there's two options. Option number one is I dramatically improve the amount of time that I play the game. Like, I'm not kidding. I would have to play this game probably three, four times a week at least and probably study tons of video guides and things on what do you do against this person who spams this? What's Yoshimitsu's best answer for this and this? So I'm talking a dramatic increase in the amount I play and a dramatic increase in the amount of studying that I do into the game while I'm somehow still playing all the other games I'm playing. The other option would be just to play it the same I've been doing and just lose every time and just get frustrated. Just like I did tonight. Because I lost my cool. I was raging all night. I was swearing up a storm at how bad the game is at that level. It's terrible. That reminds me of where we're, they're at in Master level in Street Fighter Six now. As soon as you hit Master, you're fighting endless scrubs who are all picking top tier and just do the same rushdown pattern over and over. No thought. No, can't even react to what you do because they don't know how to defend. All they know how to do is mindlessly attack. That's exactly what it is at Tekken 8 and Purple. Everyone just mindlessly attacks over and over and gets away with it because the game's abusable online. So, without knowledge, I don't know what to do. And I, I'm going to be honest, I presented it to the, uh, the stream. I'm like, I think I might be done with the game. Because we've got so many other games coming up. We've got the Star Wars Battlefront Collection, which I really want to play because those games are really good in the mid-2000s. Like, superbly fun. Um, and I know those will be fun to play at least for a little bit online. we got Rise of the Ronin coming up uh, in, on the 21st. And then we've got um, uh, maybe Alone in the Dark by the end of the month. I'm definitely not playing Dragon's Dogma 2 because I can't play four RPGs at once. But as I'm thinking, like, how the fuck am I going to play all these games at once? It's like something has to go. And I'm going to be honest, this is making it really easy for me to decide. Like, how bad tonight's stream was of people just spamming over and over. Little to no intelligent human thought, just der, der, der button pushing. That's just not fun gameplay, and that's what it is at purple level. And I'm never going to beat it without so much time investment or endless amounts of stress and rage doing it slowly, I, I don't think it's worth it, right? I'd love your feedback, but of course what I'll get on the videos, instead of constructive feedback, I'll probably get, wow, you suck at Tekken. Wow, you see, you're a, you're an asshole, you're a terrible player. Instead of like, oh, okay, you see what's happening is this person spamming this move. To stop that, what you have to do is block, and then you do this and this, or do this move to stay out of range, or do this. I won't get that kind of feedback. I wish I did. But I usually don't. I want to say thank you to those of you who have, because there have been some people who show up to the streams and try to help, and there have been some people who leave comments on the Tekken videos. And if you haven't noticed, I almost always take that that uh, constructive advice to heart and implement in my gameplay. But sadly, tonight there was no one. There was like one person trying to tell me to do a move. They couldn't even tell me the inputs for it. I'm like, if you don't know the inputs for the move, I don't think you know what you're talking about. <laughs> You can't even tell me how to do the move, but you swear the move beats something that's going on. I was like, yeah, right. So that's the problem. Like maybe if there were some Tekken players on the stream tonight who could help me out, then it would have been a better stream because I would have adjusted on the fly, but no one knew anything. So it just became me getting spanked like this by repetitive garbage gameplay that's just trash and not fun. And it kind of crushed my desire to play it again, you know? So what we're going to do... Let me know what you think in the comments of this video and on the Tekken videos, all right? You leave nasty stuff on there, all I'm going to do is ban you. Fuck off. I don't need that. If you do have actual advice on what I could have done better, let me know. Uh, but tomorrow we'll talk about this on the podcast in depth. Maybe this is maybe this is it. Maybe we do one more stream of Tekken on Tuesday night like I was planning, and that's the last hurrah for the game, and we move on. And now we do some Battlefront multiplayer for a while, and then maybe eventually we go back to Street Fighter Six.